It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1527, recorded Thursday, July 16th, 2015. I need a beer purse. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by Casper, an online retailer of premium mattresses at a fraction of the price because everyone deserves a great night's sleep. Get $50 off any mattress purchased by visiting casper.com gizwiz and enter the promo code gizwiz. We have a, a Mr. Brew Buddy, I like to say. Some gadgets for me in traveling and... I want to see Lady Gaga's toothbrush. All next on The Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Gizwiz now. Now, I hope you are prepared for The Gizwiz. Because we are, we prepared, and here he is, the Gizwiz himself, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. This has just been... You know, someone in the chat room is saying, Ooh. where's the cat? My cat? Yeah, the cat hasn't made an appearance in a while. Oh, just, the kitties. Is the cat fine? The cat good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're fine. Okay, I don't let okay. them in the studio. They're not oh, they, that's why I didn't see the yeah, cats. Yeah, that's why you don't oh, see the cats. Okay. Is they uh is there is this little microphone right here? They like to chew oh, on stuff a lot. I I get that. And then picture. that coupled with my laziness and not, about not wanting to put away equipment doesn't match. <laughs> so I keep the door closed and they're not allowed in the studio. Oh, got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And also like, you know, I have my 100,000 uh, subscriber plaque just sitting here. I don't know. I'm just, wow. I'm just worried that they would bump it or, or I don't, I don't trust the kitties in the studio. So, uh, okay. All right. Which well, is a big, good. which was a humongous plus of moving to LA is that I got a one bedroom and that bedroom is the studio instead of, instead of, I had it in my living room before and they would jump all over. I, I wanted to show maybe some, some cat destruction. I, 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 they're too spoiled. I'd spoil them too much, and they scratch up on stuff. And um, but yeah, there's some boxes like the set. The OMG craft set is made out of boxes, so they scratch it, and I can't stop them. I can't keep catastrophe. It is a catastrophe. So oh my So word. we keep the cats. I keep the cats uh, far away from uh, from the studio. That's okay, as long as they're well. Yeah. yeah oh, but, they're doing and things. how is life in in LA? It's so we're doing. This is our. Let me just take a look. Our eleventh independently produced show. That's so cool. Which means you've been there. You're in your third month, right? Yeah, yeah. We passed okay. 100 days. In fact, uh, I know. I know that at least because because uh, uh, we have a Casper ad coming up, and, and I wanted to see. Could I still return my Casper mattress? Although I'm really happy with it. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, uh, remember? Do I? I got to do a Zagat recording and yes, we got yes. food yeah. that actually released two days ago and um it's it's still it's still kind of my favorite thing about being here is the amount of food that is readily available it's not like petaluma at all because there's like so many options you can go just anywhere and get anything and <coughs> and it's some of the best food around like it's not just a it's not just a knockoff it's it's so good um this is the uh the zagat um thing i was a part oh. of hello my name is chad johnson also known as omg chad around the youtube space i recently moved to los angeles i've been asked uh, and this is actually what's funny is they found this i i hadn't even um I didn't even so tell them about stuff. this, but in my vlog, so I talk about food. Like ramen, there's Thai food, Ethiopian This food. is, I didn't, they didn't tell me to say that. I was just in my normal video that I, I did, and oh, they, so they grabbed it fantastic restaurants. showed it off. So excited about food. So I am going to hit the food scene and check so out. So we, uh, we go to different sort of places. Uh, this was a, a vegan uh, food place where everything that they have is vegan. Local and... Uh, it was it was delicious. It was a fun. So trip. now, where is this on your channel or Zagat's channel? This is on both? Zagat's channel. 
Um, okay. This is on their show. So they, they, they asked, basically, they didn't pay me or anything, uh, but for eight hours, I just got to chow down on food that they provided and tell my opinion. Did you get to it. take any doggy bags? I, uh, you know, we ate it all. It was. It, oh, did it, you really? It was all gone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There was there was nothing left. It was it was a tasty day. It was so worth oh. it. Like oh, this sushi God. that we went to. Um, it's amazing how much they cut out because it was eight hour. It was eight hours of recording, and they cut it down to three minutes. And it's amazing oh, cool, yeah. that they edited it that well. <laughs> I mean, there's stuff on the table that you don't even get to see me eat because uh, that, like that, oh, that yes. was delicious. That was like a, it was, it was like a toasted thing. It was a Dunbarry bowl. Anyway, I had a ton of fun. So anyway, long story short, I have super duper loved Los Angeles, and and I've I've been I've been loving it here. So. Oh, oh yeah. great, great! No, it's very funny. There, we were out at the hardware show, and you know, I can't even remember we did it on this show. The, the bracelet that is is uh, twenty one tools. Oh yes, from Le- the Gerber. From or, or yes, it, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, it was called uh, Track. Right. Uh, track, I think. Yeah. Anyway, while we were going down there to video it, there was an, uh, a crew from. One of the major cable things. And, and the woman who was producing was saying, all right, now, now hold it up that way. Now hold it this way. Now tell me, now describe all 21 tools. Yeah. Now, now use it, take the screwdriver and hold it and, and do a, a thing. Yeah. Now tell me why you think this. Well, this went on for like a, a half hour. Yeah. And the guy standing next to me <laughs> said, I'm producing this spot. This is going to be 45 seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you wonder why TV doesn't make money. I mean. Yes. Oh, gosh. And, and there was a lighting guy and they had a, a, you know, a push cart loaded with equipment. And finally, the guy demonstrating it said, you know, I am out. He said, I can not think of one more thing to say about this device. Listen, it's done. You look it's, at, it's a bracelet that does stuff. I explained it already. It's very funny. I don't have it's anything very, else to explain. Yeah. Man, yes, no, that's it. that's kind of how I felt. You know, I'd spent like, you know, a, a few few minutes on each food thing and then they would take one word. Awesome. And you know, and then move on. <laughs> and and uh, yes. yeah, it's uh it, it looks well, that's good. what I love about one take theater because basically unless someone passes out right it's just it's it so yeah. when we come in and say we want to do a three-minute video 90 percent of the time it takes three minutes exactly we're, we're, you know we're in and out yes yeah. uh, um so anyway, so anyway I, I had so much fun doing that and now that's available on youtube.com slash the gat so did they go did did you have a producer yes. and a camera uh, okay yeah All we right. had a producer a cameraman or ca- camera Sound woman, guy and uh audio guy and yeah, that was, uh, or actually, I think it was the audio woman camera guy. Anyway, okay. I don't remember who worked on what, but, but yeah, and the, it was a fantastic crew and we had a ton of fun going on. Now, around. did they have something so, about every restaurant you went to? Because otherwise, maybe there's a part two. Well, uh, yeah, no, no, no. That was every restaurant we went to. That oh, was, uh, there's no part two. No, there is no part two. Unless if they contact me again, which would be great. But yeah, those were the, they had a theme of sort of out of the way, less less you know, kind of under the radar places. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so every place that we went to, like the first one was in a strip mall that, that you know, right next to it was like you know a laundromat, and right next to that was like shoe repair. You know, it was like you know, not just a kind of a normal strip mall, not a very foodie place, but it was a very foodie. Oh, that's why you said this steak tastes like <laughs> shoe leather. And the guy said, you're in the shoe store. The restaurant is next door. Get out. You're in the wrong store, sir. Yeah, and then the, uh, the, the one on uh, Little Tokyo was um, pretty unassuming from the outside, but sushi was just really crazily presented and super delicious. And then the last place was a bar, and they had a relationship with the pizza place next door, and they and you would order pizza and they would deliver it through a hole in the wall, and and so you you'd get this pizza. You know, there's literally a hole in the wall, 
between the two restaurants and they, you'd get pizza delivered and they, they'd also do pizza pairings. So one of them was the Holy Trinity where you'd get a beer, you'd get a shot of rye, and then you'd get a pizza. Uh, this is my favorite uh, pairing. Uh, uh, you'd get the pizza called Meet Jesus. And so, um, <laughs> it, anyway, it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. So much fun. Great, so. great. Well, I guess let's jump into some gadgets. Okay, we're going to jump into some gadgets. This week and next week, I'm doing gadgets from the summer holiday gift preview. And uh, I found some interesting stuff. Do you, have you ever made beer at home? No, but I, I, I love craft beers, and I consume beer. So this okay. Like well, I know right zero about, about about brewing beer, but I know a little more now when I found this gadget at the holiday show. So let's take a peek. The Key Bartolo Mass Man is trying to end the Gizwiz one take theater here at Gizwiz TV. Okay, so we're at the holiday gift show. We have no computer chips. We have no Bluetooth, no batteries, but a fun gadget. And Sarah's going to tell us about Mr. Beer. Ooh, and they make two products. Beer so buddy. We're going to look at Mr. Beer Cider Kit. And Sarah, how do we make cider? So with the Mr. Beer Cider Kits, you're going to have everything that you need to make delicious apple cider at home. It comes with a concentrate. It's 100% natural, no preservatives, no additives in there. You mix that with water. You put it in your fermenter. That's the fermenter, that's correct. Wow. It's completely reusable, FDA approved plastic. Uh, you're gonna add your yeast in with that. You give it- yeah, Now the, the, there's yeast in the- The yeast comes with the kit. You add the yeast in, after two weeks, you're gonna bottle it. Once you bottle it, you add some more carbonation drops. That's gonna give you that CO2, that nice bubbly cider. Wait, wait carbonation drops, you mean you, you, do, you don't need a cartridge, you don't need, no, okay. Actually, these really simple. Little carbonation, they're just sugar drops. They drop them right in the bottles. Huh. Easy, clean. Another two to three weeks, and you've got cider. It's already done. Now, does this have to be refrigerated or anything? It does not. Room temperature. So for the, the four to six weeks that you're making it, you want it at room temperature. You're going to toss them in the fridge after a day before you want to drink them. And uh, okay. And the kit will make how much cider? Two gallons of cider. Wow. Two gallons of cider. And this kit sells for? $54.95. Okay, now we're going to we'll, uh, go over to Mr. Beer, and this is the craft beer kit, and is this similar in the process? Correct. Very similar process. Uh, the malt extracts that come with the beer, we've got about 10 to 12 different styles. So we've got porters, we've got stouts, we've got ales. That's They're great. actually produced by a world-renowned brewery called Cooper's Brewery out of Australia. Uh, they make all of our malts for us, so they're extremely high quality, they're easy, you're going to get consistent craft beer every time that you brew with one of those malts. And the same process, about two weeks? Correct. Two weeks in the fermenter, two weeks in the bottles, and then you're going to want to condition it for about two weeks before you've got really great beer. And conditioning it is head and shoulders? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want to just leave it in the bottles at room temperature. It lets the yeast finish eating all of the, the sugar, creating that CO2, so you get a really good flavor profile out of your beer. Wow, and this kit sells for? Same price, starts at $54.95, uh, just depending, it makes two gallons of beer. Kind of the same process. Oh, you know, this is really great because there are all these little micro breweries, so now you can have your own micro brewery in your house for 55 bucks. Uh, I, I think it's a great idea. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Man, is trying to end the Gizwiz One Take Theater here on gizwiz.tv. Get your beer. Get your beer here. <laughs> We're going to go into side business. We need yes, Giz yes. Brew. Giz now, the thing is, it's a long process. Yeah, six weeks? I think weeks, yes. So you need to have, this is not for people with an apartment no. where you, you're going to have this sitting around for weeks and then the uh, uh, – Yeast goes in, and then I, I forgot the whole process, but you do this, and it's two weeks, and you do this, and it's two weeks, and then two weeks for polishing, and you drop the, <laughs> the uh, carbonated. But anyway, if you have a garage or a workshop, this would be, I, I think this would be a fun thing to uh, do. <laughs> Regatta is over, saying, <laughs> two beers on the wall, take one down, pass it around, now uh, you have a gallon true. of beer on the wall. <laughs> 
That's very funny. <laughs> and over at the, uh, the Mr. Beer website, I mean, they you can go in and design and then print your own beer label. Oh, really? Uh, you can swap recipes. Uh, uh, there are over a hundred different kits that you can buy so you can make every conceivable kind of uh, beer they have limited edition seasonal beers uh yeah and you know it's funny uh, coopers uh which it says it's by coopers mr beer by coopers in the chat room i've saw a few people say oh i love coopers i I buy coopers yes the the woman the woman there said that mr beer Started, I I forgot in the nineties or something. Became very big, and I think Mr. Beer was getting their their uh, a lot of their recipes from Coopers, and then at some point Coopers just took it over. Yeah, and now it's a huge operation, uh, the biggest home brewery system, something like that. But it, it's kind of a, an interesting system if you have the time. And you want to play and play with flavors. Yeah. And as I said, there's a whole community over there at the Mr. Beer website. You can buy your hats. You can make your own labels. (laughs) You can go into business. Interesting. Now, okay, so $55. If you're, are, can you be economical with this, do you think? You know what? The, I'm thinking the, two uh, gallons. One of, the, one of the, uh, their copy points on the website is that it ends up costing less to make your own beer. Right. Because the $55 is, now you have the kit, and I believe that kit has the beer bottles and, and the keg, and and the refill kit started about 10 bucks. And yeah, it's either, yeah, Winter Dark Ale Craft refill, th- yeah, you're they, right. Yeah, there you go, that was $11, and if it's like all the others, it makes two gallons. Right. So that becomes pretty economical i don't think you can buy two gallons of beer for eleven dollars no definitely not and if you do you don't want to you don't oh you oh i just got to mr root beer somehow oh i didn't even see i couldn't find it I, oh they have I, mr on, on root beer t- uh mr mr yeah mr beer by oh they have a few different ones of these this looks like the uh this is the um uh, the the cider that yeah, and and, and hard cider means what? A touch of alcohol in it? Yeah, well, yeah, sure it's, I uh, yeah. It, I, I mean, it's not. Uh, they don't mix it. Like they don't. They don't. You don't add like a shot of alcohol. It will it ferment, just, just like and become. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So interesting. So, interesting. Yeah, I thought that was if you're looking for a, a different kind of Christmas gift and and you have that kind of money, fifty five bucks, or you you just want to give it to dad so he can go down the cellar and. Make beer for the whole family. Uh, it seems it's like a real fun. And like, I, mean, I, I think get, it is too. You get all your friends over to test out the beer that you've been spending yeah. six weeks making. You know, Giz Whiz Fizz. Giz Whiz Fizz. There you go. There what, you go. That's what it is. That's what <laughs> it go. is. That'd be perfect. <laughs> uh, good find. That's fun. Okay. The, the second one is. Kind of about wine, but not how to make wine. It's just a very bizarre gadget, and you can judge yourself as we watch uh, this video from the same show. The team are told man's men to try to end the gifts with one take theater. We're here at the holiday gift show, and we're wa- wait a minute. This lady oh. is pouring a drink out of her handbag. Whoa, what, 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 whoa, whoa, Oh my God! Fun is under the flap. <laughs> Fun is under the flap. Tell Fun is me, under the flap. Tell me about this. Hi, this is Viva Gen Z. This is a very new product that just reached the market. What this is, is it's an insulated beverage bag that's designed to carry your favorite drink wherever you go. <laughs> All bizarre. you do is you take one that of these so ladders. Funny. There are three liters a BPA-free plastic. All you do is remove the spout, pour in your favorite beverage, pop the spigot on, put it inside your purse, and away you go. The insulated bags are perfect to be designed to put a couple cooler packs inside, and then you get to take the fun wherever you go. <laughs> they come in all different sizes. I they need come one in, in leather for a guy. They handbag sizes with a chevron pattern. They also come in larger sizes like a beach tote that is able to carry more than just the 
beverage. It can also carry cheese, fruit, anything else you might want to carry. And in addition to that, there's also a man version because we know the guys. A man, but yeah. Raw, raw, raw. So this is a crossbody man bag. Oh my gosh. Named after my husband. Is right? Your husband's name is Man? <laughs> man Patrick, yeah. <laughs> and you lift up the flap, and right there's your spigot. That is hilarious. And so inside you have room to carry um, sandwiches, whatever you want. Cheese, crackers, fruit, anything else you may want, maybe even some water for the You know, are they waterproof? Like, could you throw ice in there? You could throw ice, but it would be better to do those blue freezer packs, oh, so it wouldn't yeah. be messy to do. Right, no, that's a, good, that's a good idea. Now, did you come up with this? I actually did. A year ago, I was getting ready to go on a family vacation, and I designed one for myself to go to the beach with my children. And then I started making them as fun gifts for my friends. They started carrying around Ann Arbor, Michigan. And as they were carrying them, more women were coming up to them asking, what is that? Where did you get that? All of a sudden, I'm like, wow, I have a great idea. And so I started the business out of my basement and am now located in 27 states across the country, including Ontario, very small boutiques, um, and also online. And the name of your company is? The name of my company is called Viva Gen Z. And we also support a wonderful cause. A portion of each sale goes back to support autism. That oh. is really great. That was a fun thing. Actually, Dennis found it. We were walking along, and I saw a woman pouring a drink out of her handbag. And I thought, whoa! Now, this is not, you know, again, not very techy, but in a way, it is Love very it. techy. Yeah. So, there you go. Oh, I didn't ask the prices. Um, the small ones retail at $50, and the larger beach bags and the Man Patrick bag, these retail at 70 And are you at VivaGenZ.com? VivaGenZ.com. VivaGenZ.com. Take the fun wherever you go, the Viva Gen Z way, life with attitude. Nothing theatrical about this person. <laughs> Dick D. Bartolome has been trying to end the kids with one take theater here at twit.tv. Bye. Oh, oh that's wallet so fun. That has no drink spout at all. Or, nor money. Bye. <laughs> that is the best thing is, ever. Is that a funny thing? <laughs> now, you know, I, I conceive that it's going to be a problem, right? Like, yeah. Can you imagine where you, the, <laughs> Taking that to like a ball game or yeah. So now, uh, unless uh, unless it becomes very famous for probably for many months, you can get away with it because oh, no. Oh I mean, it, it really just looks like um, Scooter X a is the first. As a matter of fact, <laughs> we walked through the first time, and, and I thought, oh, she's selling uh, custom-made pocketbooks. Yeah. But what did Scooter, what did Scooter X say? He says, he says the first step is admitting you have a problem is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's applicable, but I want one. Uh, that's, so that's, uh, that's probably admitting to myself. A, it's a funny idea, oh isn't it? Oh my gosh. That is so and funny. It, and, and three I can leaders. Think, that, I that's can, a lot of booze. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of booze. booze. That's, yeah, that's a good amount of booze. You know, the one thing is, it probably I didn't ask you this, but you it probably won't hold carbonated drinks. I bet right? it won't. But I, and yeah, and the spigot also it reminded me of wine. You know that that looks like yeah, something you yeah. would use uh, for wine. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, it's funny. I I can think of it of a few people that that'd be a hilarious and useful christmas gift, gift right yeah like they well would there love you go uh, what was in uh, her website again was uh, viva gen z viva gen z yes gen and yeah i was yeah. just i was looking on the shop uh here oh there it is okay you know, um, okay and yeah it's uh Fun. So she has four, she has a dozen. Oh, she has lots and lots of styles. I know, oh lots my. of styles. Here's the, here's the, uh, the Patrick. The man, the man yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but it is so true. I mean, if I looked, if I looked at this bag, there's no way that I no, would. No, you'd never, ever. No, I'd never think, never that, think that that was also a wine cooler.
Yeah, yeah, it's pretty Gosh, neat. That is the funniest. You know, up in uh, Sonoma County, when you go on those wine tours, when people walk away, you can take all the empty glasses, all the half empty glasses, <laughs> and just <laughs> spill it into your pocketbook. <laughs> I love. I, I just. Oh man, I love. I love everything about it. That is funny. That is. It's a, a clever. Find. It's just very. Yeah. Yeah. Very different. Very, very different. different. Yeah. Very different. So that was fun. Funny. All right. Our third thing is. Have you ever heard of the company called Brush Buddies? Brush Buddies. That sounds yeah. familiar. Yes, Brush Buddies. They do. Uh, a lot of great things with toothbrushes. They do a lot of years ago when I first uh, found out about them. I think I was doing Regis, and they made uh, toothbrushes that lit up and played tunes for two minutes. You know, that, you know. I that's, remember that. Yes. And yes. two minutes is, is how to, long that most dentists say that you should brush your teeth. Should brush your teeth. You right. should do uh, each quadrant for thirty seconds. Right. Um, and what's also nice about them is that you always hear the word uh, disruptive technology. Disruptive, disruptive technology. Right, right, it's right. innovation. It's innovation, right. Well, I, I think you might call this latest thing that they were showing at this show uh, disruptive only because of the price, okay? So I'll tell you what it is, and then you guess the price, okay? okay. It's their new Sonic Clean Pro 1 battery operated toothbrush mm -hmm. uh, sonic vibrations 300,000 brush strokes per minute battery operated replaceable head battery is replaceable too and this will retail for if I was going to say normal MSRP which normally they put that on yes, sale yes. Okay. later I'd okay. say $35 okay recommended <laughs> MSRP, yeah, five dollars and ninety nine cents. Six bucks. Six bucks. What? That's why I'm calling them disruptive. Whoa. A lot of their a lot of their toothbrushes are two bucks. Whoa. They they have a line of my favorite is the lady. Uh, can you go to their website? They have the Lady Gaga toothbrush. Oh, wow. Which is very funny because it sells anywhere from fifteen dollars, and in the comments I read, I got mine at the dollar store. <laughs> so wow! They have the Justin Bieber uh, toothbrush, and they, and they play. I think they play two minute songs, oh so God. that you can pick out a song you like. And I, I believe each toothbrush is available, like, with two different songs in it. Brush Beats. That sounds like possibly what, uh, uh, what we, uh, we got. Oh, look, WWE, One Direction. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Psy. Lady Gaga. Here's the oh, Lady Psy. Gaga Oh, Yes, one. Lady Gaga. Psy was the guy. What was that dance that yeah, he did? Yeah, the, uh, the, the um, gang uh, Gangnam Style dance. Gangnam Style, right. You can write. There's Lady Gaga's toothbrush. Born This Way. Born This Way. Oh, my God. With bad teeth. <laughs> Look at the packaging. Wow, that's funny. Is that a rhyme? Plays two-minute songs. Wow. There you, yes. So by the time so you think the song is... Lady Gaga... Oh, she has that oh. and the 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 comb, the oh. brush. What is this? Replacement? Oh. oh, these are replacement brush heads, of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, but um, so yeah. oh, wow, that... look at all the different the Garfield. Yes, they have absolutely everybody. What does they the have box side... say? Toothbrush. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Let's check Lady out Gaga. Justin Bieber's toothbrush. It looks pretty okay. Yeah. That is so funny. Is that a riot? So if you Look want to get your brushes, two bucks, two three dollars. Sorry. Yeah, if you want to get your kids interested in brushing their teeth. They have all the superheroes. Oh, they I have... found the adult. This is the adult version. The adult toothbrush. Oh, the adult. Oh, this one in it's... my cart. One second. Okay. Oh, okay. There you go. One added successfully added. Okay, perfect. And so that's just a manual toothbrush, right? I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. I think Adult you might have bought just a plain old manual oh, yeah, toothbrush. Just bottom, Not, yeah, just a pl 
plane. Not the three. Not the uh, the not the thirty thousand brush yeah, strokes per right. minute. Yeah, you're right. And a manual toothbrush. Even oh. with a even with a strobe, I couldn't count. It oh. seems like it vibrates. I've been using it for the past three days. Feels good. <laughs> well, actually, what I like about this toothbrush is. I want Justin is... Bieber floss. Sorry. I'm oh my God, distracted. Justin Bieber floss. <laughs> 55 oh. yards of Justin Bieber floss. Oh, that is a rot. That oh is a Oh, my gosh. That. I don't think we're marketing ourselves properly. We should have all of this oh stuff. Oh, my gosh. Justin Bieber <laughs> rechargeable batteries. <laughs> Recharge your toothbrush with these Justin Bieber batteries. Oh, that my gosh. Is a riot. They, they're what they call them, B cells. B, uh, that, <laughs> J, that, J B cells for just Bieber cells. That, that is a riot. Oh my gosh! I wonder if anybody is silly enough to think, well, I have to get more Justin Bieber batteries for my <laughs> Justin Bieber toothbrush. Well, they <laughs> this mecha this uh, this mechanical toothbrush uh, has run out of batteries. I hope they have the Justin Bieber ones. The Lady oh. Gaga ones just won't work. No, the Lady Gaga put it in it. It made a <laughs> sissy sound. <laughs> you, the, the, the tones don't work together. What that are we going to do? Right. That oh is Oh, my gosh. Riot. The floss is killing me. Yeah, it's great. It's, that is so funny. Oh, my God. But anyway, if you want a sonic toothbrush, I have no idea about the quality, but it, it sure... <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. Yeah. And what I, what I like about this guy is that I'm just going to re replace my little travel brush with this because then I can have the little sonic. Uh, mm, ooh, can you? That sounds like about thirty thousand to me, sure. doesn't it? Yeah. One, two, oh wait. Three, oh, four, was five. that twenty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine? Right. No, I think it's no. It's it's three. It's thirty thousand. Yeah. 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 As advertised, as I, advertised. I remember that from school, that <laughs> sound. I remember that sound. <laughs> anyway, uh, so if you want fun brushes, you can get them pretty much uh, a lot of most of the big drug chains. But if you want to see the whole line of stuff, brushbuddies.com. Brush buddy. I, I want my own brush buddies. How do I talk to brush buddies to get my own? Yeah, line? OMG Chad. OMG oh, with, OMG Chad. A, with a red brush. brush? Mm -hmm. You are on my level, absolutely. A red absolutely. brush, and the wow. and the the uh, you know the toothpick things. They're actually shaped like Minecraft picks. Uh, you know. There you go. Like there like, you go. Yeah. And my brush would have a would have a gray <laughs> brush, a little like a mustache. It'd be like exactly, and it would fit. It would fit your teeth All perfectly. Right. They have a special bin to it, so you could get around a mustache. Just mustache yeah. made. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. We'll have to get a. We'll have to find the uh, the uh, developers at Brush Buddy and suggest. Right. The the licensors. The the PR agency. Yeah, the licensing the, division. Right. That we can sell dozens of them dozens. to our own our own. Listen. Podcast. Do you want to move dozens of product? Just talk to me. I'll make it happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, we've come to the time in the show where we have to thank our fantastic sponsor for this episode, Casper. Casper is an online retailer of premium mattresses. We're really excited to welcome this new advertiser. Uh, you just head online and you check out their selection of mattresses. Casper is re uh, revolutionizing the mattress industry by cutting the cost of dealing with resellers and showrooms and then they pass the savings directly onto the customer. I myself have a Casper mattress. It's amazing. I, I, when I moved here, I wanted a, a mattress that was gonna be easily delivered. I, I needed a new mattress. I wanted right. a mattress that was gonna be easily delivered. I wanted one that was memory foam, but okay, uh, good. I also know that a lot of memory foam mattresses, they don't have a lot of spring. And so you actually want a, gr a great memory foam mattress has latex as well. So that it sort of adds sort of springiness back to the mattress. So you don't just like fall in and then sink in. And then you can't, you know, it just, just doesn't feel like sort of a normal mattress. So I wanted that really good pairing. And I had tr tested out the Casper mattress that Leo got at Twit. And oh, okay. it was the mattress for me. And so when it delivered, it comes in a box that I was easily able to carry upstairs. Uh, it comes rolled up and you unroll it where you want it. It's been fantastic. Wow. And I had 100 days, 100 days to test it out 
and decide if the Casper mattress was right for me. Now, and, did you buy a full size? Did they come in sizes like twin yeah. and full? And, oh, yeah, oh, okay. twin, full. Uh, I got queen, and, I, and uh, they also have king as well. Oh, wow. I believe, wow. yeah. Let's, uh, let's go to Casper and see. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was super easy to order. It's great tracking, and um, they say that the the return process is very easy. So I was very, very, very happy. If you want to check out Casper Mattress, go to casper.com slash gizwiz, and you can check it out for yourself. We got Twin, Twin XL, Full Queen, King, and California King. You have all sorts what of the world is a, a California king is bigger than a king king. Yeah, yeah. A California king, I believe, is longer. It's longer. Oh, okay. And then okay. a cal, uh, than a normal king, and it's a little bit thinner as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, a one hundred night free trial, free wow. shipping and returns. I love I love Casper mattress. There, I'm 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 super happy with my my Casper, and I actually bought it before they were even a sponsor. So. Um, so there's that. So to get a Casper mattress for $500, uh, that's the twin, or for $950 for the king size mattress, uh, and this is a great, I mean, this is, comparing this to the industry averages, this is an outstanding price. Uh, you can save an additional $50 as one of our audience members by going to casper.com slash gizwiz and entering the promo code gizwiz at checkout, so casper.com slash gizwiz, and the promotion code is gizwiz, and we thank Casper so much for their support of the gizwiz. Thanks, Casper. Excellent. Excellent. Now it's time, I guess. For something else to Ooh. help you sleep, it's Chad's Crappy no, Corner. Yeah. Yeah. But you might want it at Chad's. Going back to the brick house. One crappy second. Crappy Corner. <laughs> He's in the time travel he drapes. He's in Petaluma. And, and now he's back in L.A. Woo! Oh, I got all tangled up. There we go. We need these wires to go uh, transcontinental a little bit better. I mean, transcontinental. <laughs> Where am I? No, no, LA just to... coast-wise. Coast-wise. Coast, transcontinental. Transcoastal. The co coastal. Um, so I have, uh, we're, we're continuing with travel, travel month. Yeah. And once again, I've uh, I've I've uh, taken it upon myself to to not. It's a not so crappy corner again. Oh, okay. This is this, a, this yeah, is last a, week you had uh, the, well, the the sleep scale. mask that was two weeks ago. Yep. Right, and then the sleep mask. Uh, so far, I travel a lot, and so I have a lot of gadgets that I just kind of want to show off uh, for people, and okay. uh, that's that's what's happening this week uh, again. So uh, it is the, the not-so-crappy corner, once again. Uh, these have been essential for me ever since I found them. I have traveled all the time with them. They are the GoTube. The GoTube is a travel tube, but it is by far the best travel tube I have ever come across. I own four of them. Um, and what a travel tube is, is it's, uh, it'll be the um, FAA regulation size. So this is uh, 3.2 ounces. Actually, this one is just 2 ounces. Only, I only have the 2 ounce one. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, easily sealable, easily refillable, and then also a few other customization features. First part that I love about them is no matter how hard I squeeze on them, just like this, they don't pop open. Uh, I have never had one of these burst or break in my Oh, of my okay, luggage. that's good. Right, and they have a cap that's really easy to open. Whoop, just like that. And oh, it looks like there was a little bit of a, uh, 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 you know, the last time I was in the airplane, they uh, they got a little bit um, weird. Anyway, nothing's wrong with it. But uh, right. uh, but yeah, the cap is, right, okay. is really easy to open. It's also easy to um, unscrew. And this is just the soap that I use, the, the body wash. Okay. So uh, both of those are, are really nice. And that's true with, uh, with every single one of, uh, of the GoTubes. They come in a whole bunch of different sizes. Once, like I said, this is the two ounce version. Um, the, the, the nozzle is like a no drip nozzle. So uh, it's a, I'm going to kind of try to show this off here and hopefully it'll focus here. Uh, but it uses sort of, uh, I don't know how to explain it, some ketchup dispensers have this sort of nozzle oh yeah that where where it's it's uh, in x uh, 
Yep. I, I don't know how else to describe it, and I, yeah. I wish that my my um, my webcam. It's funny. I just focus. opened a bottle of ketchup today for the first time. I saw that. There we go. Um, so anyway, the the nozzle's really really nice, and uh, I've never had it. You know, uh, output too much or, or whatever. It's it's very simple. The next thing that I really like on it is on the side there is a. Uh, a little window and what you see through that window and gosh oh gosh I wish that my webcam here would focus on this but it's not going to there we go it says soap in there and you can quickly change this and I'll go ahead and do that now between uh, a few different uh, versions so this ring right here that's on this part of the uh, of the go tube can be pulled up just like this and unlocked and now this ring with the little window in it can be rotated between a whole bunch of different words oh, so that I you know see. what is in each go tube so this one uh, this is a sun for sunscreen we got shampoo conditioner there's a blank one there's lotion soap and then back to sun so this one is filled with my soap so I'll just put it right over the soap lock it down on it just like that and then Put the cap back on so now I can easily tell it's a little bit difficult to tell you know of, of course they're color-coded but if you forget the colors I know that this one is my conditioner this one is soap or soap and then this one is my shampoo so very simple you may have seen this little dot on the back and yeah what is that what that is this is a suction cup so what's really cool is oh. if you're in a shower, you can suction cup this to the wall and uh, and it will stay. And, it, and I've had these stay very, very long, uh, a long time. And um, it's great because it's exactly where you need it. Or uh, I've also used these a lot when going to the gym. And uh, normally the gym shower doesn't have a nice place to put my shampoo. So you just smack it onto the wall and then uh, it'll stay there. And so those are the go tubes. I highly, highly recommend them. You can get a pack of three, and uh, this is the three ounce tube, and that's for $20. I picked mine up at a normal, just like CVS or um, Rite Aid or any of those sort of okay. pharmacy. Uh, oh, and things. tube is spelled T O O B. Tube. T O O B for the right. go tube. Okay. By far my favorite travel tube completely forget just absolutely forget about some of those other travel bags that have the sort of I don't know how to describe them just the normal tubes these things will make your traveling experience so much better I absolutely love them they've never broken they've never burst they're they're just some of my favorite travel tubes so uh, not a very high-tech gadget but a reliable one and one that I highly 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 recommend so um, yeah, anyway, the go tube. Sounds good to me. The go tube. The go tube. I should I should be paid by these guys cuz I do such a good <laughs> job of selling. This is products that I love. I it was, it was like that with me in high school with like Apple computers. I would just start to talk about how good Apple computers were and my parents would be like, "Stop with the selling again." <laughs> so, uh, it is time to move on to Dex Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. What do you want? And our video of the week is not only from a viewer, but I just looked up at that moment and see that the viewer is in the chat room. I know. Look at that. And uh, here's, it, it's Anne, and fantastic in the uh, chat room. It says, hi, Chad and Dick. I came across this gadget the other day when it literally fell out of the closet and hit me on the head during <laughs> a, a thunderstorm. A, a sign. sign you need to, to make a gadget warehouse video. Exactly. After recording this, I now know why I will never achieve YouTube fame. Chad, you make it look so easy. <laughs> I hope you will enjoy Anne or Anne Fantastic. So here's her little video with a gadget she loves. Perfect. Hello, 
Dickens. Oh, wait, stop, stop the video there for oh, a minute, Chad. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Right. What? Oh, can you, you get? Wanna... Did, you, did, you didn't watch Hello, this video, Dickens, did you? Chad, this no. Is Here, let me mute this. A, a, okay. Any idea what that is? I, I'll tell you what I thought it was. No idea. That looks like it looks like a USB key. Oh, I th I thought it was some sort of a fork oh. in a plastic. You know it, that you slid out of that blue plastic uh, device, right? Uh, anyway, and, and you thought it was a USB device, a USB okay? key, yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So now we can run the video. Okay, sorry here's... about that, Ann. Oh no problem. Hello, Dick and Chad. This is Antastic. I was watching the Gizwids tonight, and I heard that you guys needed some new videos for some gadgets, so I thought I would share this one. Um, it was thunderstorming pretty bad the other night, and uh, we were about to lose power, so I thought maybe I would uh, see if I could find a flashlight, and I came across this one from my uh, from an insurance company that was trying to get some new business. Oh. So it just turns on here. You can see uh, the flashlight here kind of on the table. Um, and inside the flashlight is actually a screwdriver. So oh, the bits wow. the screwdriver are housed inside, they just pop out like this here. Oh, that's a nice mechanism. And then the part here where you put the screwdriver or the screw bits in is uh, magnetic. So um, I guess this would be helpful if you're handy, not like me, and need to <laughs> screw something in in a dark place. Um, maybe fix a part in your car or something at night. But um, yeah, it's a pretty neat little gadget and not bad for, for a free giveaway. Um, but yeah, thanks for all the great episodes of the Gizways, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much, Antastic. Antastic. That is, That's a neat little gadget, isn't it? That is a it? cool little gadget. That is so neat. You know that, that there's tape over it. I think maybe she thought we we would we be upset if, insurance we, if we saw mm. who who gave it to her. We don't care about labels on things. Um, but that's a neat little gadget. And and not only the fact that you have a screwdriver and several, looked like there were five or yeah. six different devices, but now you have the LED light that, that will pretty much be shut be shining exactly where you want it so, that's a cool gadget i'm so surprised a, i haven't seen more of those uh, me too I they know. shouldn't be giving away we should be seeing them on uh somewhere on the web i know um uh, yeah so fantastic you will get a mad magazine the minions issue a one of those 35 year old alfred e newman photos and so uh, email me, dick at gizwiz, uh, uh, gizwizbiz at AOL.com is the easiest uh, address for me. And uh, we need more videos, okay? So like Anne, favorite gadget, something uh, that's uh, sitting in your drawer for months and is still using her little flashlight screwdriver device, make a video, two to three minutes, put it on YouTube, email us the link. Uh, our address is mail at gizwiz.tv, and it can be my favorite gadget. I invented this. I bought a piece of crap and anything like that, and do that, and uh, you get the mad and the, and the Alfred E. Newman picture if you live in the U.S. or Canada. If you live overseas, you will at least get fame and possible fortune, possible fortune. when people see, yeah. Well, look at Chad. Chad yeah. made a video, and the people from Zagat right. have been whining and dining him for one single day. For about eight hours, yeah. Of a day. For about eight hours. That's a lot of whining uh, yeah. and dining. What was there? Was there any alcohol? Uh, yes, there was. Two, oh, two. whining and dining. Two alcohols. Two alcohols. I, I had to right. kind of, you know, work my. way. I had to convince some people of the second alcohol but yeah okay and that was yeah. before he got his man pack wine dispensing <laughs> shoulder bag yeah the patrick the patrick the patrick <laughs> the patrick he even remembers the name yeah. yeah yeah uh so get us your video uh mail at gizwiz.tv is where the link goes uh when you make it perfect it's time for the letter Letter. Oh, the, it's not playing. Uh, right. there, there we go.
And our letter uh, goes like this. Hi, Dick and Chad. I couldn't make you guys a video due to me having to go to school tomorrow. So I hope this email will do. I am turning 16 on Thursday, the 16th of July. Ooh, that's today. Which is the day of your next stream and podcast, which makes me very happy. Happy birthday. That's so cool. I live in Australia. It's cold and windy here during the winter. So I'm binge watching the Gizwiz while in bed. And then if he could have made a video, we, we, we're not counting this as a, as a video, Alex, but we wanted to. I'll read the description and I especially want to do it because I happened to open your, your email this morning and, and see it's your birthday. Um, I had the iPad Touch. It was the 8 gigabyte second generation. It lets you have a lock screen picture, but not a home screen. And I didn't change it in a while. Because I didn't change it in a while, my lock screen is, would you believe, OMG Chad... And Captain Sparklets? Oh, yeah, Captain Sparkles. Oh, Captain, Captain Sparkles. Sparkles. Oh, with a Z? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, his picture is OMG and Captain Sparkles. It still works to this day. Headphone jack doesn't work very well. It's still one of my favorite things on the planet. It's fun to show, you, show the friends and laugh about how not too long ago that technology was considered amazing. I love the Gizwiz and Chad's YouTube channel. So thank you for making my life just that much better. Chad keeps shooting for 100,000, I guess, uh, subscribers, subscribers, right? Subscribers, yeah. Right, because you're nearly there. Love from Alex. Fletcher. Oh, that is so cool. Do you know Alex? I don't. I, I oh, mean, okay. Well, Alex, unless I may, uh, I may know Alex's username. Uh, oh, okay. Alex, we wanted to. Uh, thank you. Happy birthday. Right. We're not considering it a video submission, obviously, but we wanted to get it on and wish you a happy birthday. That is so cool. And that, yeah, neat. Yeah. Neat, neat, I wonder neat. what which image of me and Captain Sparkles that was. Um, Kept Are there lots of them? Can you show us one? I, I, I was just googling it. I I don't. I mean, there's. Uh, I don't. I don't know. If it was an old image, I can't think of what it would be. Um, okay. But like, here's art of all of us. Uh, that right there is Captain Sparkles. That's me. Oh, um, okay. Uh, we uh, we record a series together now. Um, oh, okay. Is wait, there wait. anybody uh, in in the uh, fifty states that you do not do a podcast with? <laughs> You know, uh, there's there should be a few, but I'll find them. Um, oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll track them down, and we'll record something together. Oh, okay. Um, between Chad on the fun. street and, uh, and uh, all the other stuff, I'll. Uh, I know. I re I rarely talk to Chad, uh, <laughs> other than right before this show. We usually we spend sometimes four minutes about what we're gonna do, and Chad just said, "Oh, I just did nine uh, recordings, and I have to do seven <laughs> recordings after this." Yeah. So that tomorrow I only have to do fifteen. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's kind of how it is. And uh, thanks for 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 mentioning the one hundred thousand. It's crazy. Whenever you get to one hundred thousand subscribers, YouTube gives you a plaque. And so this is the one. For, oh wait a minute! You've already had a hundred thousand. So this right? is for OMG Craft. OMG Craft and OMG Chad are two different YouTube channels. Oh. So OMG okay. Craft uh, got a hundred thousand, but OMG Chad. Which is my personal YouTube uh, should uh, I'm on a site called Social Blade right now. Um, okay. And right now I have ninety eight thousand subscribers, and I oh hit my future word. projections. I should pass one hundred thousand. I guess this weekend, I believe. Oh my word! Um, in thirty days, in in less than a month, I'll be at at one hundred and one hundred and eighteen. So. Uh, very quickly, I will be at a hundred thousand um, wow. subscribers, which is a big. You know, I'm deal. I'm looking at our uh, Gizwiz channel, and uh, by 2099, <laughs> we will pass 500 <laughs> subscribers. Uh, uh, let me see. Do we have. We don't even have a channel, do we? I yeah, we do. I don't remember the name of it. What was it? What is it? Uh, <laughs> YouTube.com. When the when the people who are on it 
don't remember the name I'll of the find channel. It. One second, we'll, uh, you, we'll, we'll get to you it. You can re you realize why we have so few subscribers. Uh, we have. Uh, see, the thing is, is that we were we started on a podcast, so. Um, Oh, that's right. That's you know, right. Uh, so I, I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, no. I believe it's Twit Gizwiz is the name of our channel. There we go. And we we have 3,000 subscribers. Oh, okay. Almost. Okay. So, um, almost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have 2,900. So so okay. That's not bad. Okay. It's not bad at all, considering we were on everything else. If we added everything together. Right. It it would be in the tens of thousands. Exactly. The, the dozens of thousands. Dozens uh, of thousands. For some reason, saying dozens is always, is always funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, it'll only take us. Never mind. I'm not going to. See, if twenty ninety nine. That's according to that little thing. It'll only take us five years to get close to 10,000 subscribers. Oh, okay. That's okay. it. See? We're That's growing. A um, lifelong dream. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, uh, with that said, uh, don't forget to play What the Heck Is It at gizwiz.tv. Oh, wait, gizwiz. Gizwiz.biz. Gizwiz.biz. I know, it's confusing. Oh. Finally, they got it right on ABC because I'm... now they, they introduced me as uh, the gizwiz from gizwiz.tv. And at the end of the show, they do say... For more information, go to gizwiz.biz. So they, they, they got it straight. Um, it, it's, I can't believe that you do it in one take theater and you say it correctly every single time. Uh, Except I didn't the last time. Oh, you didn't? No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. didn't. You know what? I edited that thing and I thought for sure you were going to pick up on it. I showed it to Dennis. He, he said, oh, yeah, that looks good. I uploaded it and it wasn't until it played five minutes ago or ten minutes ago that I said, Dick Bartolo gives we uh, here at, at twit.tv. <laughs> anyway. That is funny. I didn't notice it. I didn't know. It's, yeah, it's, but yeah, I figured our view is done. You know, yeah. our viewers know where we are. Right, right. They know where we are. Exactly. Um, and if you don't, you know what? You just learned. Uh, Gizwiz.biz is the best place for you to find these amazing notes about all the products we talked about. Uh, we do link to these from uh, gizwiz.tv in the show notes. But everything we talk about is nicely written up here. Also, play What the Heck Is It down here on the sidebar. This uh, What the Heck Is It game. And we're trying to figure out what the heck this is uh, mm -hmm. this week. You know, it's pretty obvious to me. Uh, yes. Pretty obvious. So, you know, um, back in the olden days, they had irons. <laughs> yeah. but they, of course, they didn't have electricity. So they'd take an iron and they put it in the, in the fire. And then they'd use it as an iron. See, this is a pre-electric iron, you or, or, or sorry, hair curler. So you take this, you put it into the fire, then you, you roll your hair in it, and it's uh, your hair's curled. It's um, wow, yeah, wow. old gadget, old gadget, but still a gadget. Oh, yeah, nonetheless. yeah. So, um, I sorry I gave it away. Sorry I told you what it is. That's a, no problem. No but, problem. I can't uh, comment because I don't want to, too many right. people to. Send in the right, right answer. Right. Um, hmm. Well, uh, there are 12 Mad Magazines for correct answer, but 24 double the Mad Magazines for cute, funny, hilarious, and silly answers. So please email your answers in uh, to be entered to win. I love what the heck is it? Because this is the whole thing. This is the whole product. This is the, the whole, whole gadget. product. Yeah, yeah. We're not hiding anything from you. So uh, go ahead and guess no. what the <laughs> heck that is. It's amazing. It sticks to walls. I didn't realize it. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it's just stuck there. It's amazing. Um, so, uh, play at gizwiz.biz. If you want to subscribe to the show, please do. Gizwiz.tv is that other website that we like to run. That's Hey, we're live right now. Looking at what oh, that gizwiz. Oh, it's great. Look at wow. that. Look at that. Wow. A wonderful, wonderful website created by T2 and Blender. And uh, here we have links to subscribe. IRS. Uh, I, IRS. RSS. Yes. The IRS doesn't want you to subscribe. I'll, I'll let you know. The RSS feeds or the iTunes feeds or the YouTube feeds. All the, all the feeds. And also the chat room. And our old episodes are all right here with these ridiculous thumbnails that we come up with every single week. Um, so please check that out. 
Big, humongous thank you to our Patreon supporters. Yes, yes. <clears throat> that oh was just gosh. great. This is amazing. Only because we got paid this week. We so. did. We got paid this week. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, uh, yes. Since, since we, it's just the two of us supporting ourselves. And so everybody who has been doing something in episode has really been super. Yeah. Yeah, a big. Help. It really helps. Of, of course, the advertisements help, but you, y'all's help is by far bigger. And uh, uh, a lot of thanks, a lot of thanks, to you guys for chipping in. And uh, uh, Tom Merritt says it as value for value, and it's just fantastic that you guys um, are helping us, helping us with the show. Eight three hundred and seventy six of you guys, and right now it looks like there's ninety. Over 90 viewers, it looks like 91 or 7, I can't tell, there's a big thing in the middle of it, so I can't tell if there's 91 or 97 um, people in the chat room right now, it is just... It's, it's, it's just great, it's just great, because like at 7.15, I think there were three of us, and I thought, oh, this is the end, this is it. <laughs> this is the they've day caught, when they've no caught, one shows They've up. caught on to us, they hate us. Oh gosh, oh gosh. And then suddenly, just like 7.28, <laughs> people start, it's great, That's it's funny. just great. It's wonderful. We have our own community, and I'm just thrilled by it. Thank you. And big thanks to Diamond Club, too. Diamond Club uh, restreams us on Diamond, Diamond Club. Diamond Club is the best. Yeah, big thanks to them. So uh, that's about wraps it up for this episode of The Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>